This is the first of many audiovisual presentations talking about Stevens Law, a law which will make passengers liable for reporting hit and run accidents involving the injury or death of a human being and not leave them on the road like trash. The driver investigators say was behind the wheel in Thursday's hit and run has been identified. The Chemung County Sheriff's Department says 27-year-old Kyle Bradley of Sayre, Pennsylvania, was driving the car that hit 17-year-old Stephen Bacon of Gillett. Bacon was riding his bike on State Route 427 in the town of Ashland when it happened. Deputies say someone discovered the body in a culvert on the shoulder of the road Friday morning. The investigators... I'm going to be sending out to numerous papers in Pennsylvania relating to a hit and run which resulted in the death of 17-year-old Stephen Bacon, who was riding his bike at night. And the story about the two cars, the alcohol that was involved, the trial, the judge, the district attorney, the defendant, single defendant's attorney, how he was chosen, is, is, is a, another story at another time. But the whole thing totally stinks. The way the uh, media covered this, there were some courageous um, people in the media who tried to point out what was happening, but it was, it, it was disgusting, totally disgusting. It was disgusting, totally disgusting. I don't uh, want to get too involved in it, but I'm going to read a letter to the editor that I'm, I'm sending. And this kind of expresses my frustration with something uh, that just came up. And uh, here it goes. Dear Editor, the saying taxation without representation is tyranny describes the situation in districts 68 and 110 where Pennsylvania State Representative Matt Baker and State Representative Tina Pickett are running unopposed. Although both are very nice people and no doubt very competent, I find the situation tantamount to the concept of a benevolent dictator. This is no fault of Matt or Tina, but a local Democratic Party who does not feel the people are worthy of a choice. It's a matter of economics, apparently. My problem with Tina and Matt is that they won't introduce Stephen's Law in honor of the 17-year-old Stephen Bacon of Gillette. He was killed in a hit-and-run accident where four people knew of his plight and no one contacted the police for about 12 hours. Stevens Law would make adult passengers liable if such injuries or death of humans is not reported to the police or rescue services in a reasonable amount of time. And that is not after everybody sobers up. Tina and Matt wrote me that such a law was impossible. I don't believe that. And so, with no opposition, no other candidates for me to bring my case to, I am forced to write in Stephen Bacon for state representative in the 110th district. I truly hope that others will feel empowered and will write Stephen Bacon's name in at election time in whatever district you are in. And really, I don't care what state you're in. The life you save may be your own or someone you truly love. Sincerely, Joseph Rene DuPont.